Welcome guys, so today I am with the Nokia G60 5G and I will show you camera tips and tricks. Okay, so first of all when you open the camera application we will be in the photo mode. And at the first I can show you for example how to adjust the brightness level. So you can just click on the screen and when the sun icon shows you can just drag it to decrease or increase brightness level. To make it automatically, you can just tap on the screen once. Another tip will be about the filters that you can find. Oh, sorry, that was my bad. And there is no filter option. Never mind. So uh, we can go, for example, for the zoom feature. As you can see, we can go for the ultra wide lens, wide lens, and the telephoto lens. We can also click and hold on already selected preset, and we'll be able to zoom to the eight times. That's the maximum zoom of this phone. The quality of this zoom is not bad. You can also zoom in and zoom out by pinching screen with your two fingers, so we can decide how to make it. Next, we can focus on the volume buttons that you can find on the right side, uh, above the power key. You can click once on the volume up or volume down to take photo. When you click and hold this button, you are going to record a short video. It works the same for the volume up and volume down. Next, when you move to the shutter, we can also click and hold it to record this short video. When you go with your finger to this lock, you will be able to take photos while recording. You don't have to hold this shutter button anymore and you will get zoom feature right here. As you can see, it zoom in very, very smooth and it works really good. You can finish this video by tapping right here. Next, we can, for example, enable the camera timer. Oh, it's actually the motion, never mind. Uh, so we can go right here and enable the camera timer between 3 or 10 seconds. Click on the shutter and there is the countdown. Let's turn it off right now. We can also change the aspect ratio of the camera, but honestly, I can recommend you to stay with the default one with the 4x3 because right here on this ratio, we got the best quality of our photos. Next, we can also enable the 50 megapixel mode. And I'm gonna show you the comparison. So the first photo I'm gonna take with the 50 megapixel mode and the second without. Okay, and take a look about the details on these photos. So we can focus, for example, right here. That's the normal photo. Looks not bad. But when you go for the 50 megapixel mode, Oh, you can clearly find more details, for example, right here in this place, and you can also zoom in much closer. So it's worth to use the 50 megapixel mode if you want to get more details on your photos. When you go right here for another time, you can also enable the camera, grid lights. They help us to take better composition on the photos. We can also enable the camera leveler. As you can see, right now it appears in the middle of the screen. Okay, let's turn off both of these features. We can right now smoothly go for the settings, where we can, for example, turn off the shutter sound. The location tags are enabled as a default, and this option gives us information where the photo was taken. So all you have to do is just go for the information, and as you can see, you'll find the exact location where the photo was taken. The next option that we can find in the settings that's the function of the shutter button. I show you that we can take video, but we can change to the take series of the photo and we can take 20 photos in each series. Okay, I think that we can go right here for another time. We can enable the camera watermark. As you can see, we can get the personal message. Oh, I have to switch the language and the theme of the of the watermark so take a look how it works when you take photo right now at the bottom after the post processing you'll find your own watermark and the last option that i want to show you in the more options that's the dual side mode this option allows us to take photos uh, and record videos from the two cameras at the same time that's the rear and that's the back camera you can also zoom in right here and zoom out. You can change the theme 
so we can get the picture on the picture for example and here that's the, also the information icon that show you how it looks so yeah that's all for this video if you find it helpful remember to leave a like comment and subscribe